came over here to use this water faucet yesterday only to discover that it froze in the winter time we've owned this property since November maybe October I can't remember and uh, I had the water transferred in my name that same day that we signed the papers and uh, one of the first things I did is come out here and insulate that pipe but it had no way to drain the way it was installed so it the upper portion froze I should have left the close the uh, cut off at the meter and then left that valve open and I, I didn't do that I don't know if that would have saved it or not anyway I had to dig it up and uh, redo it and so in the process there's other water lines out here that have been disconnected so what I have done is put in that cut off right after the uh, faucet I might have should have had that reversed but either way um, so this uh, cut off that I put in joins the uh, water to the rest of the property now I have found one two three four there's four or five faucets on the property one of them is right smack dab in the middle of the pasture I don't know why it was ever there but it is and there's one beyond that, which is where the barn is. I don't know if that one works. But they said this one in the pasture used to work. So I hooked everything back up. And that, that faucet over there just started spewing. And then it quit. But you could hear the meter just running like crazy. So I came over here and I found water spewing out of the ground. So I dug it up and I found right in between those was this T and the T was actually pointing that way, but there was nothing on it, no pipe coming off of it or anything. Now over here, there is an elbow coming out of the ground that used to have a faucet, I presume. Uh, it's been hit with a mower a couple of times or a tractor so uh, that's not going to work but I, I didn't see the pipe I'm sure it runs underground right up here to this where it used to so anyway I'm about to uh, rebuild this down in here and I am going to put a T back in there and I am going to run another pipe over here because this is downhill and uh, what I can do in the winter time, I'll put a new valve over there. And uh, in the winter time, I can open it up, and it will uh, it'll drain. So uh, it'll drain the whole system because everything up there is all down. There. Everything's downhill to where I am now. There's a barn over there. So that's what I've been doing, digging holes. All right, so. After getting that pipe fixed, uh, I put a uh, plug on it, just temporary. What I'm going to do is I dug a 20-foot ditch, and I got a 20-foot pipe right there. And this is going downhill, mostly. Um, you can see right there the old pipe. Now, why... This section was missing out of here to connect those two. I don't know, but it picked up right there. And then it went on down. And there used to be a faucet right there. Um, I'm going to... This, this uh, about another five or six feet out, it starts going downhill pretty good. So I'm going to probably extend this trench down. And I'll either put a pipe in it or I'll line it with rock or something. And I'm going to use it as drainage. I'm going to have a valve 
right here that I can open up. Now, this is all uphill, but you, you won't notice it being uphill too much. But when I open that valve, all my water will come out this end and I can drain it for uh, winter time if I need to or want to. But I got the ditch 95% dug and uh, tomorrow I'm going to finish up with the installation of the PVC. It's about 2.30 now and I believe it's, I don't know how hot it is, it's probably over 95, 97. Uh, it's just too hot. I'm, I'm worn out, so I'm quitting for the day. So for now, that's what that's going to look like. I'm going to put a block over that orange, whatever you call it, barrel. And uh, just fill this hole back in. I reset that post and tied the water faucet to it. In the wintertime, I'll have to undo it and wrap it but that's what it looks like well let me show you this so down in there is the cutoff so here's the hole where I made the repair the line was busted uh, fixed it and made fixed it so that uh, the faucet in the middle of the pasture works now and then I followed where there used to be a line going I'm going to use this as a drainage put in a new pipe I've got a cut off right there and what I'm going to do I don't have the right fittings It'd be real easy I'm going to get a faucet and I'm going to put a T in right there before the cutoff. Put a faucet right there coming up out of the ground. Probably. If I don't, it's not going to hurt anything. I got the pipe sitting just inside this old three-quarter. I'll just pull that out. Put a T in this line. And then, when I get ready to uh, drain this thing, there it is right there. It's all flowing downhill. So uh, in the winter time, cut off the water at the meter or that valve and then just uh, turn this on and everything will drain out and I won't have a freezing problem anymore. So one thing you have to understand about this part of the video is this is about mid-morning, and it's probably already approaching 90, I don't know, 95 degrees maybe. And I've spent a day and a half digging this 20-foot trench and holes around the property. I'm tired and I'm sore. And although I've got most of this trench filled in, I was getting tired of bending over and trying to rake or shovel dirt so I went and got a chair and sat down I am completely drenched in sweat my shirt is wet my pants look like I need to have some depends on or something it's just hot but fortunately I was able to sit in a chair in the shade kinda and had a t-shirt over my head so it was kind of bearable.
still going to get a uh, bucket or something and put in the ground so that I'll have access with a lid on it. So I'll have access with to that valve and then I'll also put in a uh, probably a faucet right there. Why not? And in this, I got all leveled out. I'm going to leave that pipe. That's just a dummy pipe. It's a marker. So I know where that um, T and elbow are. All right, so I got it all buried and put back together. I got my faucet put in. I got a metal stake to it. All right, move this boulder. I got my cutoff down there. Water works. And I got my drain over there. today? Huh? You want one of these? I'm trying to cool down. It's probably about 97 degrees. It's hot. Just finished mowing. Well, I finished mowing for today. I got another hour or two tomorrow. Good. You want one? You want one? Yeah. Sorry you can't see him very well. I got the camera sitting on the dash. You can't get it at a steep enough angle. Frankly, oranges. Billy apples, if I'm eating them. Giving bananas very often. I don't eat bananas very often. But I told him he didn't do very much today. <laughs> I don't know why he deserves to be eating fr fresh fruit. It didn't help much. Bye-bye to everybody. Okay.